So this is a very specific message that I'm picking up on today. Whoever I'm speaking to, I am getting that you've had a very bad experience with people in the past, okay? Um, I'm getting that for some reason people just don't like you, okay? And I, again, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but this is the experience in the past that you've had, okay? I'm also getting this energy of literal groups of people turning against you, groups of people not liking you, um, people ganging up on you type of energy, okay? You have felt very alone and you have been isolated, okay? And again, it's because no matter what you try to do, and again, this is in the past now, but no matter what you try to do here, it's almost like you felt rejected by people or people would just, again, turn against you. Um, people wouldn't like you. Uh, and I am getting that even with your past friends. Like, I'm just getting that there's this energy of people just turning against you, okay, or cutting you off. Um, again, it's just like people don't like your energy, your spirit, and that's in the past. Um, now, I am getting that there, you have a bad experience with people, you may have a hard time opening up to people, but the thing is, right now, it is time for you to open yourself back up. Now, in the past, you were rejected by a lot of people, you were kind of again, just felt left out, felt like maybe, I think the term black sheep, right, um, of like the group or of the family or something like that. Um, but there is this energy of this, you being isolated for your own protection. I just think two, two, two. It feels like in the past, you were very vulnerable. It feels like you are somebody that you almost have this very childlike innocence to you, especially with people that you love and you trust, okay? And the way that you give to people, it's very unconditional. You have a very pure heart. Okay, and you are somebody that you would give the world to people. But the people that you were around definitely would not do that for you. Okay, and the people that you were around and the people that turned against you were not good for you. They were very toxic and they were leading you down the wrong path. Um, these people are on the wrong path, okay. And then something about your spirit. You just have this very childlike spirit, okay? But then it's also very resilient, okay? Now, I am getting that you, this isolation period that you went through, you being alone, you feeling alone, had built so much resilience, you don't have a clue, okay? Also, this has built the type of resilient where you don't need anybody you are somebody that was forced to rely on yourself and this has created you to be very independent you do not ask anyone for anything you don't need to okay you know how to take care of yourself you also have no fear when it comes to being alone in fact, you like your alone time, okay? Um, you are somebody that really recharges when you're alone, right? So you also need your alone time to kind of shake off energy that you may pick up, right? You are very sensitive to energy. You may notice that when you're around people that are not good for you, you tend to get very, it's almost anxious 
okay, you would feel very anxious, you would also get stomach issues, um, but there's this energy of you not feeling right, okay, very anxious, on edge, um, you may have a very bad feeling, make sure that you pay attention to those feelings because that's your intuition, it's 11.11 on my actual clock right now. I'm just getting this energy of you have this very, like your independence is unmatched, okay? The, your resilience, your strength is unmatched, unmatched, sorry. With the strength card and the emperor here, you are somebody that, I mean, you are just so almost hyper independent, okay, you just don't rely on anyone, you are somebody that people may rely on you, people also view you as somebody that you just have it together, right, not just your life, but I'm also getting your emotion, right, you are somebody that you've been through a lot of experiences that have created this strength that just the way that people look up to you, the way that you handle situations, people really just admire it, okay? Um, but again, you've had a lot of people in the past kind of... I'm just getting group. Like, I'm getting one person, which is you, okay, against groups of people, okay? You may have, again, like just a group going against you in the past, right? But again, these groups that have gone against you, they kind of created your character. And your character, you are unbreakable. Like, you have no idea you are unbreakable, right? Nobody can hurt your feelings, right? Nobody can say anything to you to hurt your feelings. Nobody can do anything to you to hurt your feelings, right? You don't need people around you. You are somebody that you can be alone, okay? And this has come from you spending a lot of time alone because when you try to get close to people, it's almost like they turn against you, right? I'm just getting like, I don't know who I'm speaking to today, like, I'm just getting that you have been through a lot, and it's hard for you to open up to people, and I completely understand, like, this energy is intense, right? Like, it's very hard for you to open up, okay, because again, you've had this bad experience with just a lot of people right? Now, you are somebody that you tend to only have a few people around you that you are close to, and these people you cherish, okay? These people you really look after. You are somebody that you are about, you're about quality, okay? You don't care about quantity, you're about quality, okay? You do not want people around you that make you feel uncomfortable, you are somebody that you have really just been through so much. You've opened up your heart to the wrong people in the past. And now it's hard for you to kind of open up to new people. But here's the thing. This period of isolation is over for you. Okay? You have to understand... In the past, you were somebody that, again, very emotional, okay? Um, you were very run by your emotions. You may have been very sensitive. Um, you had this energy where it's like you would just open up to random people or you would trust random people, right? And the energy that you were in, in the past, okay, when all of this was happening to you was a very vulnerable energy, okay? And this energy would have got you in a lot of trouble and it would have got you going down the wrong path, okay? 
So again, you were isolated for your own protection and for your own character growth. Because you have tapped into the highest version of yourself and now you are very resilient. You are very strong. You are very wide. Okay, you're very street smart. Right? You can spot toxic people, fake people. Okay, you're very sensitive to energy. Right? And you're also very gifted. Whoever I'm speaking to, right? You have developed this gift of being able to read energy, pick up on energy, okay? You have also developed this gift of being able to protect yourself and your own emotions, right? And now, okay, you are this beautiful version of yourself. Very independent, very just, I'm also getting like, you're a very protective person. Okay, the way that you protect your own energy and yourself, you protect the people around you. I just been 11 11 on the timer, right? So, everything that happened to you in the past, you have to understand that this built who you are today. And who you are today, people admire you, people look up to you, people love you. Okay, and again, you are very admired for all of the traits that you have embodied while you were in this isolation period, when you felt so alone. Okay, so now, it is time for you to open back up, okay? It is time for you to work on the trust issue, because... You are not that version of yourself anymore, okay? You have learnt the lessons that you were supposed to learn through that experience. I just seen 12, 12. And there was a period where, yes, you were isolated, so you could work on yourself, so you could hear yourself, so you could... It's almost like a protection thing too, because you have this beautiful, pure heart, and you embody this unconditional love. And this very sacred energy too. Okay? And it's like not everybody deserves that version of you. Okay? So it's like you were isolated for your own protection. But now that you have learnt these lessons, now that you have tapped into this very independent, emotionally mature, very strong version of yourself, it is time for you to allow people to experience this beautiful energy that you embody. Okay? Again, you, for a long time, you were isolating yourself. And now, it's time for you to get out there and meet new people and open up to new people and experience new people. But also allow new people to experience you. Right? Because there's opportunity here. There are opportunities all around you, but you are so focused on just what's in front of you, like the people around you, the people that you have let in and the people that you do trust. You are very focused on them, but now it's time for you to focus on yourself. And there are so many opportunities around you like literally flooding in, in the form of all different things, okay? So you have new people coming into your life, people that will treat you the way that you treat other people, people that match this vibration, people that look up to you and align with you, okay? Not people that are going to turn against you. You're not on that timeline anymore. You're not that person anymore. Okay? So I am getting that at the moment. There are a lot of people coming into your life. A lot of people, like, trying to get to know you. A lot of people that want to be your friend or, like, you're just meeting in general. And right now you're in this closed-off energy. 
thicken your spine to open back up to allow people to feel the unconditional love that you embody right because it's a blessing and you don't understand your energy your energy really helps uplift people okay and people want you in their life the only thing that's really holding you back in the past okay is this bad experience or the bad experiences that you've had in the past with people you've had like a very unhappy experience with people in the past so it's like very hard for you to open up but this is your sign to open back up because there are people here that are coming in as the form as the form of like a blessing okay the isolation period is over people want to experience you So again, it may take a little bit for you to kind of feel comfortable opening back up to other people. I am getting that you tend to really overthink. But there's this advice here where you should... So I'm getting this advice, okay? you should give your true self to everyone that you meet okay do not bring past issues into your new connection okay i am getting this very strong message that everyone that you meet you should really show your best self to you should show them unconditional love and unconditional just your authentic self I am getting that it takes you a little bit to open up to people, but it's time for you to take a leap of faith. I'm, I'm literally getting that you literally have people here like fighting for your attention, people that just want to be in your life, people that want to be around you, that feel like you would be just a great person to have around. But I am getting that you tend to associate people with conflict because that's what you experienced in the past. It's like you would allow people into your life and then you would experience them turning against you or creating drama, right? And I'm getting, especially with like your past friends, you've had really bad experiences with. And you have really given to these people, like you have really showed unconditional love to these people and they took that for granted, right? But the thing is, you have to understand that that's their mistake. The people in the past that lost you and lost privilege to you and your unconditional love and your energy, well, that's their mistake. They have to live with that, okay? Everybody has choices, right? So it's like if you were giving to people and you were like just very unconditional with them, you know, you were loving them and then they did something to hurt you or they took that for granted, that's their mistake, okay? That's their loss, okay? Because you are somebody that, as I keep mentioning, you have this pure love, this pure heart and you're a blessing in people's lives. Okay, so if they ruined that, that's their problem. But you should not go around and not trust new people and not allow new people in because of old people. Okay, you should always give everybody a fresh opportunity, a fresh chance. Now, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but this is somebody who had been very hurt, very traumatized by people, and they are having a very hard time allowing new people in and to the point where you would prefer to kind of be isolated and be on your own but the thing is in this energy it's like you are not attracting anything like you are closed off to new people new opportunities your manifestations your blessings 
There are people here that want to love you. There are people here that you haven't met yet, but want to love you and they're going to take care of you with the love card here. Like, they want to love you unconditionally the way that you love them, right? There are so many experiences here waiting to happen, so many memories, okay? So many good people here, like, literally coming to you. But you tend to be closed off. Because, again, there is something here that you may not have healed yet. There's definitely a few trust issues here that you may need to work on. And I am getting that you need to kind of let your guard down a little bit. Because your manifestations are here. And whoever I'm picking up on, you've been manifesting people. You've been manifesting, like, a connection or, like, friends or something like that. And it's literally here, but the thing is, you're standing in the way. You. Okay? All you need to do is let your guard down. Um, and allow new people in. Because your isolation period is over. You have tapped into this very beautiful version of yourself I just seen 21 21 that you needed to go through these lessons okay these experiences to tap into this version of yourself and remember that we choose what we deal with okay because we want to heal things so before we come onto this earth we literally choose what we who we meet what we go through, what karmic lessons we go through, because we want to basically build character, okay? Or heal things that we couldn't heal last lifetime, right? There's strong Scorpio energy here. There's strong Pisces energy, Cancer energy, but very strong Leo energy as well. So that's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.